let's see what 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 most viewers don't know. Broken into and burglarized days after we were given an up close look. There was glass everywhere. I I really I lost it. Most of my Birkin collection. He took pretty much all of my jewelry. The famous video was released today showing that million dollar closet heist in the woodlands. You can see a man wearing a jumpsuit and gloves. I don't think it's someone that knows me because if it was someone that knew me, they wouldn't have never done this. Okay guys, so I'm here with Teresa Romer. We're, we're just gonna sit down and just to be honest and like spill some tea a little bit. Do um, you have any questions girl for me? Girl talk. Yeah, girl talk, really, <laughs> the house. I feel like a lot of you guys really don't know me that well, so I wanted to maybe open up a little bit and um, I just feel like it's kind of weird to, to talk about myself, so maybe you could- I'll talk about yeah, you. Yeah, <laughs> ask me questions or whatever. And guys, again, I can't stress to you enough, her YouTube channel will be linked down below and her Instagram. So definitely check her out. Tell her I sent you, show her some love, show her that like the community that we've built here is real, okay? Okay, because she's dealt with some fakes. Ooh. And we'll talk about that too. Ooh. Some fakes. Okay. <gasps> so guys, welcome, welcome, welcome. I hope you are enjoying everything we're showing you today. So. Thank you for coming into my closet with me. <laughs> thank you for having you guys. If we look this way, there's like another camera, but thank we're, you for we're having me. We're double filming it, today. It just like I didn't think that you would be like, yeah, come over, like you know. What'd you think I was gonna do? I just think you were gonna be like snooty and be like, girl, bye, you know, girl, bye. <laughs> okay. I figured out how to do that. <laughs> Classic, <laughs> you know. But you're just so See, real. See, but that's down. the problem with most people is they don't know me. Yeah. So they immediately think because of where I live, how I live. And everything else that I'm just this snooty stuck up bitch. Yeah, I think what we do have in common is, is like I feel like I, I've told you I, I get used a lot by people, or I get like taken advantage. Like I'm a very like happy jolly person, so it's easier for people to like take advantage of me and stuff. And I think that's where I'm at in my life. And I thought maybe you can give me some advice or something because just remember, especially with men, girl, they want to use me for my coin. They want my money. <laughs> Hey. They're like, I meet them, they're like, oh my God, I love you so much. Yeah, you. can you pay for and, the meal tonight? Yeah. Uh, Dang! See, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, oh my God, I'm so yeah. in love. So, so back, when I, <laughs> back in my single days, I was always, because I had my own money, I had my own wealth, yes, yes. I was always on dates and the men would be like, well, hell, you're worth more than me. Why don't you just pay for the meal? Really? I'd be like, are you kidding me? Bye-bye, never another date. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. One date, overdone, bye. Move on so to the next one. So you dealt with that. Yeah. yeah. And I think the one thing that I love most about my husband that I'm with now is that we oh, were- Oh, no, look at the ring girl. She's married to house. I'm married, guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so don't be, hey, Teresa, are you single? She's married, okay? <laughs> I'm married, happily married. Yes. But the one thing I loved about my husband, and he's just, I guess, a good old boy, because guess what happened? Yeah. I was on a date with him. We were about a month in, Yeah. and he went to the bathroom. So I thought, ooh, I'm gonna go ahead and pay for the meal. This is, I'm gonna be so sweet, I'm gonna pay for the meal. Yeah. And he came out and he saw that I'd paid for the bill and he said, don't you ever embarrass me like this again. Did he make a scene? No, he just said, <laughs> yeah, he didn't do that. Huh? Didn't. Can you imagine? <laughs> don't you ever pay for this again, hearty. <laughs> <laughs> no, but what he said was he said, don't ever embarrass me like this again, very yeah. quietly. Yeah. He said, as long as you're with me, you will never have to pay for anything. And yeah. I thought, oh, that's so nice. Because I had been on so many dates for 16 years, guys. I was single 16 years. Yeah. Wealthy on my own, taking care of myself, but always the guy going, oh, well, you're worth so much money. <laughs> you just paid for it. Yeah, I get that too. And like the people- Don't let them use you. They, they don't like, when you meet somebody, they're not, they don't tell you, I'm a snake. You just kind of got to like, I was telling <laughs> your assistant, Mr. Fabulous, I was like, did you just kind of like pick up on it. Like, yeah. I don't know. Like, but sometimes you don't pick up on it. Yeah. And they do use you. I've hired many a people that have- We'll talk about that. Yes. So she mm -hmm. has, she's, you know, everyone's on social media trying to get their numbers up and get views or whatever. So she, you're on Instagram and YouTube and you hired a PR firm. We don't gotta say the name, like it's not that-, that A few years ago, a PR firm, just recently a, a social media firm used. 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 You. used. And they say, they'll promise you this and promise oh, you that. Yeah. And then you're All like, where's it at? Where's it at? So my advice to you, do not pay anyone to help you do anything. Learn it. <laughs> Learn it or collaborate with people. Collaborations. Collaboration yeah. is the key, guys, because I probably know stuff that he doesn't know, and he knows stuff that I don't know. Yeah. 
But uh, plus, you could YouTube everything and learn yeah, everything. Yeah. But but how to be famous? Quit, I I've I've had, <laughs> <laughs> I've got, I got famous from a closet. Oh but yeah, it's better than us than a than a sex tape. <laughs> okay, you guys, there are videos on YouTube with like news stations and people from all over the world come to this closet to record and ask her questions and just hang out. I mean, she's famous for this closet. And it wasn't something that you wanted. It just kind of happened. It just happened. Just like my YouTube channel. Like, I, I didn't want to be to do drama. It just happened. Yeah. You know? And I remember, like, sleeping on my mom's floor in the basement and just going to work at, like, 7, 15 hour. Like, make dead-end job the house. And I would just do YouTube for fun. And I did one drama video. Boom. And I was like, I think I'm on to something. Ooh. And I just built it. And I was like, let me put on makeup so it doesn't seem like I'm being so, like, mean. or I don't want to <laughs> disrespect anyone I talk about, like, the drama. Because they're people too. So the makeup does help. Yeah, I, I watched his videos and it does help because it, you you can't you can't help but laugh. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's true. It's true. Even though you're saying something somewhat that, mean. Yeah, it's, it's funny. <laughs> it's no, funny, but it's funny because he's got this makeup on. Yeah. Yeah, and and then it it's weird when I end up meeting the people. Cause like here I made like ten videos and then I meet the person at the event. I'm like, oh man, they're gonna sue me the house. <laughs> you know, like oh my god, defamation of character. Here it comes. And then they're like, hi, I love your videos. I'm like, oh my gosh, they understand the comedy. Right. And and that's how I make my living. That's how I, because people ask me in the comments, like, I see the cars, I see this, like, what do you do? And I'm like, it's just YouTube. Right. And then like the fan support with the buying merch and yeah. stuff like that. Or they right. come to a meet and greet and just meet me. Right. And stuff. And I just feel really blessed and I don't really want to take advantage of it. Right. You know? So, so it's, it's amazing. Humble. Like, I came from... The Nebraska. The Nebraska. She's from Nebraska. So if you're a girl in Nebraska who's like, I'll never be like Teresa Romer. Hello, she's from there. <laughs> That's no. where I was born. Yeah. <laughs> There's so much money to be made in, in the social world media, in social media alone. Like social media, YouTube, it, you know. But the sad thing is that so many people don't know how. It's like I was telling you earlier. Like everybody wants to, there's so many amazing makeup artists. Yes. But they get on YouTube, the beauty is saturated. Saturated. It's so hard to get noticed with beauty on YouTube. And so you're right. Yeah. Well, the closet's not. The closet, yeah. <laughs> He's like, you got to stand out. And so when I was like, I'm going to do drama videos, I, I told myself, you know what? There's a million guys on YouTube who, who spill the tea. Yeah. But I was like, if I put on makeup and I hype up a character and become overly obsessed with makeup. And, and he like, always has the crown on. And have the crown and have like a brand. Yeah. I'll stand out. Yeah. And I feel like that's how I've made it this far is by standing out. Yes. You, know? you can't be just an ordinary person. Yeah, you're like an ordinary cookie cutter. Like, you can only go so far. Right, right. You know, and I, and I think that even if you do make it far, then people start to catch on. Like, you're just social climbing or you're just, I don't know. Right. You get what I'm saying. Oh, no, I get it. I get it. But isn't it funny how there's so many people out there that don't understand your life? Like, once I'll have girlfriends go, oh, let's go to lunch today. Let's go do happy hour. I'm like, sorry, I'm, I'm working. All they're the like, time. They're like, what are you doing? And you're like. So let's talk about what is the What is the average day for you? Like, uh, typical day for you? Because, I, I mean, I mean, people are like, who is this woman? She's fabulous. So, Mr. Fabulous, come here. Come around the Yes! Yeah! Okay, guys, he's on Instagram, too. This he's is a, my assistant, Mr. Fabulous. Yes. Hi, guys. He's a self-employed makeup artist, and he's my personal assistant. So he helps me get through my days. So like, you have someone to help you. I do. <laughs> yeah. Because he can he can testify. Yeah. My days are crazy. Crazy like, the house. <laughs> <laughs> no. No, because uh, first of all, my house is almost 20,000 square feet. So yeah. this house alone is like running a small boutique hotel. Yeah. Every day there's workers here. Every day there's something going wrong. I mean, like, so that's one hat I have to wear. No, you like serious? project you think that you just have this house and everything's just no. done. No. There's workers here all the time. All the time. So I have to wear the hat of project manager. And then I have my YouTube channel that we're constantly filming for. And yeah. Of course, we're taking pictures and doing photo shoots all day long because I have Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, yeah. Snapchat, you name it. Yeah. So photo shoots all the time. Other videos, because I have conversations in the closet, which we're filming right now for also. Um, we have... So you're like a mogul. Motivational Mondays. Nah, We've huge. got Wacky Wednesdays. We've got Fashion Fridays. I have That's my, just social media. That's just social media. Then, I have, not... then I have my brands. I have my three books that are out. Nude, Unveiling Your Inner Beauty and Sensuality. Naked in 30 Days and Scoring with Santa. Then I have a candle line. My true and real candle And I can't line. even get a text back to save my life. <laughs> I can't find a man. <laughs> and then I've got my fitness wear line, Naked in 30 Days, and I 30 D Athletics. And then I've got motivational speaking engagements. Yeah. Oh um, my God, those are fun. What else am I leaving out here? And on top of that, she's got to be a wife. She's got to keep oh, a mother, house, her personal life. 
It's too I, much. All of my charity work, all of my philanthropy. Um, but you do go to the gay list. All the, ball, the gay list. Yeah, uh, yeah. All the closet events I hold in my closet for women. I'm like, it's just never ending. And she shows up with all her gays behind her holding her train. And, mm -hmm. they're, just like, yes. and they're like, who is that? That's yeah. Teresa Romine. <laughs> We're literally behind her like this. Like, don't touch it. Don't do oh nothing. my God. Leave her alone. So, don't touch so her do hair. Do you feel like you have a day, ever have a day off? No. That's how I feel. Because I always say, I can't get a day off to save my life. And then, like, now I feel inspired because it's like, it's like a business. Though. But I don't want a day off. Yeah. I don't want a day off because to me, when you have a day off and you're just laying around, you're wasting a day. You're wasting a day. Like, there's there's money to be made. Yeah. What am I doing just laying here watching a movie today? Really, yeah. why? Now, granted, sometimes you're tired, you got to rest. You do. But yeah. for the most part, I hate Sundays because okay. Sundays. I have so many questions. Okay. I still got to work. Okay. <laughs> okay, bye. Okay. When you made, this is personal, so yes. you don't have to answer it. Okay. When you made your first, like, real money, yes. what did you buy? <laughs> the first thing you bought, something that you remember. That Louis bag downstairs. The Louis bag, the yeah. first one you Yeah, the Louis Vuitton bag and what, downstairs. What, what did you do? What was the business that got you that? Was it the, the Oh, gym? my God. No, no. I was, pageant that you I was, like, 19 years 19? old. No. I mean, like, I was, at 19, I had already milked cows i had already delivered newspapers yeah. i was a bus girl i was a waitress i was a hostess i was a lifeguard i think when i finally they don't know it, people just see you and yeah like, oh, then yeah. i was she's, she's had it made all her life then i worked for alco department store and then i became at a young age i became like the front desk manager and like i've okay. always worked 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 yeah. i love making money because oh by making money yeah. you can afford the so lifestyle which, you when you live. started making money did you have like people you wanted to bring with you like to bring them along with you in your journey and they just didn't come. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Because when I, I remember, I'm not going to say no names, but when I started YouTube and the YouTube channel was blowing up, yeah. I had somebody, I had an assistant mm -hmm. and I was like, do YouTube videos, do this. And I was telling them what to do and they didn't film one video, they didn't do anything and the mic blew up and they could have been right there with me. Could have. But they, I always but they tell, never chose to turn on the camera and just talk. And I always tell my assistants, I always tell... And that's okay, that's not their journey. I always tell yeah. my driver, George, I, I, I don't care, my personal shopper, I'm like, if I hit it big... We all grow We together. all going together because yeah. you've been by my side all these years. Yes. Yeah. I was yes. telling, there's, there's other people with me that are, that are also in the, in the drama community. And I feel like if I make it, we all in a sense make right, it. Right. Right. Yeah. I always, I, I, I tell my personal shopper this off. I say, if I make it big, you're right there by my side, honey. Yeah. You've been by my side this whole time. Like, I'm not going to just forget about you. My driver, George, who drives me everywhere, you know, yeah. for 10 years. I'm like, dude, you're right here with me. Yeah. You're coming on. You're on the ride You're with right. me. Oh my god! Of course. So, so the motivation is, guys. When we when we hook up with you, don't just stay with us for a while. There's. There, I have long term vision. Yeah. My long term vision is I'm going to own my own jet with my own letters on the tail wing. My assistant, my makeup artist, everybody's going to be with me all the time. Like, you're on the ride with yeah. me. Yeah. I always, when I when I see somebody driving like a nice car, living a nice home, I some people would say, oh, they got it made, but I always feel like. No, there was like a struggle that had to get them there. There's like, always when a struggle. I see that, I'm like, they have a story to tell. Unless they're a trust fund baby of yeah. some kind, and that's not me, and that's not you. Yeah. You know, yeah. but I'm mean, like, we have worked mm -hmm. our whole lives. Yeah, for what we have. and I think that's why I post videos every day because like my mom and dad, they went to work every day. Right. So I just feel like that's what I know to do is just work. Right. You know, and if next year I'm not popular on YouTube no more, then I'm totally fine going back to work. <laughs> like, so I have a question for you. Yeah. Then. So. <laughs> Little did I know, because yeah. he reached out to me like a year ago. Yes, a year ago. A year ago. And I didn't know Instagram that well, so I didn't know there were direct messages on Instagram. <laughs> but he did reach out to me like a year ago, and then he reached out to me like just not even a month ago, like yeah, 20 days ago. What made you want to reach out to me? There was something about your energy that I was just I gravitated toward. Like I felt like this is somebody, I just felt something. It, the closet was nice, but your personality is like there was something about it that. So he was following me on Instagram. Yeah. And he was watching my YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. And this man wanted to meet me. <laughs> Basically, in a way, but not and in a tried, stalkerish and way. He tried to meet me a year ago, and I didn't yeah. even respond to his. And I had like message. forty thousand, and I came back now, and I had like two about to hit two hundred thousand. And I was like, that's better that it worked out that way. Yeah. 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 Oh my god. But still. 
you know, it's just, everything it's, happens for a reason. Right. I feel that way. And it was funny because just last week, my assistant and I were out to lunch one day and he said, do you know this guy, Rich Lux? And I'm like, no, why? And he's like, he's following you everywhere. He always likes on no, your No, I'm not. He comments on your stuff. <laughs> like he really follows you, Teresa. And I'm like, he does. And now this week he's sitting right here in the yeah, closet. Yeah, and I was sitting here with her today. See? Wow. Collaboration is Collaboration in the house. Yes. And I've learned, I feel like being with you, talking a little bit off camera, I feel like I've taken like one year of business, I've learned like in like 15 minutes with you. <laughs> oh, that's sweet. You know what I'm saying? Like, I get that vibe too. Yeah. And see, and he also has learned that I'm not that person that most people think I am. Yeah. I'm, I'm the real deal. I'm down to earth. I'm humble. I, I still remember where I came from. Yeah. I never lose sight of that. I think that's so important. Yes, exactly. So, there's we're going to get a little deeper. It's not always glitz and glam. There was some drama that happened in the closet a long time ago. <laughs> Somebody broke in. Mm -hmm. And it was all over the news. Like, this isn't like, this isn't the exclusivo primero impacto. <laughs> they, they, they came to your house. Good Morning America came to your house. Uh -huh. They shot a really, a really good article. Four years ago. Yeah, four mm -hmm. years ago. Yeah. It was a really good piece. And then, what, a week later? Yes. She got broken into the house. And this is like a gated community. But see, what, what, what most viewers don't know is that when we got robbed, our house was still under construction. Yeah, oh. So we had been under construction for about 18 months at that point, so we were still in the painting, Yeah. you know, yeah. That, that level of just painting. So a lot of things that you see that we have now, like cameras yeah. and glass breakage and motion detectors, a lot of that stuff wasn't installed yet because yeah. we were busy, they were painting. Mm -hmm. So most people didn't know that and didn't know that from the news either. And yeah. so, they because the, the news was like, oh, stupid bitch, she, <laughs> she didn't lock her doors, you know, yeah. she didn't set her alarm. What alarm we did have, I did set. Yeah. And what doors we had to lock were locked. But uh, unfortunately, what windows were to get the certain yeah. items? So, yeah. but the news never covered that. They just oh, no. made it sound like I was an idiot. Yeah, yeah. that's weird. Because yeah. they're like the last ones you get were putting your house on TV, right, right, or on news, right. So you, you know how many how many celebrities show off their houses mm -hmm. all the time? Yeah, I see. Are they getting robbed every second of the day? No. Yeah. No. So what is so you're very like a anthrop? What do you call it? Philanthropist. Philanthropist. What What are some of the ones that you've worked with? Oh my God, all of them. I think a lot of them. American Heart Association, the American Cancer Society, Interfaith of the Woodlands, Red Cross, um, the Go Red. Um, there, there's one coming up next month, Elijah Rising, where we're sex trafficking. Yeah, um, that's a huge one, yeah. Yeah, just there's so many. Like, I don't turn one away. Yeah. Like, if there's a charity that I can help somehow then I'm yeah. on board. There's one that I wanted. To, you kind of inspired me to do this. There's, there's the LGBT Center yep. in Houston. Yep. That was something I know I could raise a killing for that. Yes. I know that. And I, don't, I really don't know, like, when did you find out, like, like you know your worth? Because I think when I was coming up, like, I didn't know what my value was. So I would, like, get sponsors from people, and I would, like, accept the really low balls. Because right. I didn't know my worth. Right. You know? Well, you hate to toot your own horn. Yeah, exactly. I don't want to be right. like, well, it's $80,000, <laughs> you know, for a sponsored video. But, you know, it's not – I would. I did accept low balls. but And to this day, I, I still do stuff for free. Yeah. Not because – I can afford to do it for free. Yeah. It's because, you know, growing up and starting my own business is my, my dad who has passed away. My dad would always say, sometimes you have to give away something for free mm -hmm. for them to know what your worth is. And then you can start charging from there, you know? So yeah. I can remember when I first became a personal trainer, I would personal train for free. Oh, wow. Or, no, I would, yeah. or I'd personal train for $10 an hour, which was like stupid, right? But I thought, I just need to get a clientele. I need them to believe in me. And then was that I here in Houston? Or? No, it was no. back in Wyoming. Back in Wyoming, okay. And, you know, before you knew it, my clientele was growing. And then the, as the new ones came in, I started charging more. And then started yeah. charging more. But, you know, yeah, you sometimes, you... Oh, my God. But you, everyone's worth something. Yeah. So, you know... I, I think time is worth, worth a lot. Exactly. Time, yeah. Exactly. So, there, I can't remember how many motivational seminars I did for free mm -hmm. just to get it under my belt so people could see that I was doing it and so on and so yeah. forth. But, but now they have to pay good, good money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Yes. Okay. So, so at what point on your YouTube channel, what, like, what magic number was it that you finally thought, wow. I could do this. Okay. Like, like it, wow. It was I when, can, I, when I, I messaged you. 
Like I'm when, actually starting to make money. When I messaged you, and I get that question a lot actually, it was uh, 30,000 subscribers. Mm -hmm. I was posting every day mm -hmm. and I was posting content that people wanted to watch. Like, right. Uh, I feel like there's evergreen content, which would mean a video that would get views for years and years and years, like your closet tour. Yes. It would be evergreen. Yes. And then there's like your hub, which is content you post every day, like I do, like drama. Like if it's, uh, it's the Manny MUA, he's a beauty influencer, something happens with him, I drop a video yeah. today, I get a lot of views, but no one's looking for that two, three weeks from now. Right. You know? Right. But so. It's like celebrity news. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So I was doing this. What's the, trending? Yeah, I was doing the YouTube, which is YouTubers on the new Hollywood. I was doing the YouTuber news. Uh, and it was 30,000 subscribers posting them every day. I, that's whenever like I was so excited to tell people, but I didn't want to tell them because they didn't want to use me. Right. You know? So a good, another good question then is, so we all know through Instagram especially, yeah. uh, brands can reach out to you yes. and want to work with you. Do brands work out, do they reach out to you on YouTube at all? Yeah, it's through email. Like I have my email down there. Yeah. So they'll reach out and they'll be like, we love your channel, we want to sponsor a video. And I'm doing this all myself, so right. I'm like, well, I just make up like a rate sheet, what I think is fair. Sure. And I ask my friends, do you think this is fair? Do you think it's too much? And they're like, yeah, that's too much or that's about right. And then what they do is they'll charge like this amount of much, this amount much money for a post. Right. This amount of much for uh, a story. So do you think they're more like beauty? Well, brands? yeah, yeah. I feel like mine fall under like beauty, skincare. Sure. Yeah. Right. And I'm, I mean, but I feel like. And you thought that was happening too around at 30,000 subscribers? I think so. Subscribers. Yeah. It's, a, it's all like fuzzy. Yeah. But I wasn't living <laughs> off sponsors. Was it was just right. off the videos I was making. So, what, what was your career before you started in YouTube? Oh my God. Okay. You're going to freaking show. Okay. I worked at a chemical plant back in Pasadena. What? Yeah. I think it was. I don't even want to say that because you know there's a lot of them down oh, there. Oh, yeah. There's like boom, 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 boom. And there's like, there's contractors they hire for different right. companies. Right. And I worked for one of the contractors and that's what it was. And it was like 10 bucks an hour yeah. in the heat, sweating my ass off. Or then sometimes they would rotate to nice. We were working 12s or shutdowns. Ooh. Are you familiar with those terms? Yes. Yeah. Oh, we yeah. were working those. And so if you're in the oil field, you know what that means. Yes. And so I was working those and it was, it was a dead end job. I wasn't ever going to get anywhere. Right. Right. And then, and mind you, I'm like a big old queen, honey. You know, out there in the field at a chemical and were plant. Were you a queen there? Too? Yeah, I had my pink hard hat, not bother, girl. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I had my little overalls, my little jumpers, and I, I didn't care. And th some of the guys who worked in the oil field were like, "Hey, honey." And those guys, they worked. Did you get bullied? No, no, not at all. No. So as harassment, the house. Ooh, yeah, I that's right. It. That's right. <laughs> Rich Lux Mobile, is it uh. Exxon Mobile or something, <laughs> who knows? So anyways, uh, but the men, these men would come from like all over the world to come work at these refineries right, for right, a right. couple of months. Yeah. And they, would, they wouldn't be with no wives, yeah. they wouldn't have their girlfriend and they would hit on the other girls there mm -hmm. and other men too. <laughs> and their job would put them in hotels like in the area. They hitting on you? Yeah, the house, the house, Ooh. yeah. Mm -hmm. Hmm. But everything I didn't, I didn't, I didn't own no oil rigs, so I didn't make it out that much. You know what I'm saying? I want an oil rig one. You know, you're a contractor. You're just like me, a contractor. What am I gonna do? But so then you started playing around with YouTube. I was doing it. Well, I made documentary movies on YouTube. Right. For like uh, an escape, just to express myself. Right. And that they did good. I won awards for those. And then I was like, I love YouTube. It's how I escape and how I talk to the people. So. At what point, how many subscribers did you start feeling like you could make a living doing it? 30,000. 45,000, I would say. 30,000 when the money hit, 45,000 is when I was like, I could get my own place. I didn't, though. I waited till I hit 100,000. Still, so you're still living with mom and dad? No, I left. Oh. I let everyone know. Like, I live right, I live in the Galleria area, across the street from the Saks. No, you said before you left. So you were still living at home? Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. then you finally got your own place. Yeah. When I had 100,000, I felt like good enough to eat like it, the money's gonna stay there like it's on yeah money. it's and, not and, gonna and, just disappear yeah it's gonna stay there but it takes one scandal one mm -hmm. racist tweet one something that's very if i do a meet and greet i don't say hi to somebody and i kind of like shun them and somebody captures it on their phone i mean it's ruined yeah and it's and i wouldn't say ruined but it's damaging yes because i feel like any anyone can turn it around yeah but you do take a hit to the brand mm -hmm. and there are good months and bad months in mm -hmm. business and yeah. stuff like that yeah but YouTube has definitely taught me to be more strategic in business. So you got the scoop, guys? Yeah, oh my God, that was in a plant. <laughs> oh my God, can you believe that? No. Yeah. Wow. Wow. In Pasadena, Texas. So we know, we know that you wear the 
Yeah. I don't want to. I don't want to call it clown makeup. Oh, I do. But kind of. I do. Yeah. People always say, aside clown aside from your clown makeup when you're doing your YouTube channel, do you normally wear makeup? Yeah, I put just a little bit on. Yeah. Little, little La Mer, mm -hmm. a little sublimage. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know that? <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's this is very lightly. Yes. Because I'm in it for hours. Yes. Because the thing is, I'll I'll pay. It just seemed like big thirty minutes. Yeah. I'll paint, do a drama video. By the time I want to take it off, another story hits. I'm like, oh. Let me go do it. Or something, I'll take it off and yeah. then something major happens. Yeah. I'm like, I gotta put it back on. Now, how are you getting the information of the major stuff happening? Oh, you know what? It's the community. Oh. I call it the beauty community. Ooh. They send me messages like, hey, did you see this? Or like, I saw this. So-and-so posted this and then deleted it. But I screenshotted it. Oh. Yeah. And then they're like, oh, the let me see it. The download. The download. Yeah. yeah, and that's basically the community. And sometimes I, I would, well, not sometimes, but I do search for it. Mm -hmm. But a lot of times it's people sending you information. Mm -hmm. So how often do you collaborate with other people? Not often. Oh, that's so that, I'm blessed, guys. Not I'm not blessed. often, and they they know they know. Like I've I've met Jeffrey Star, Graveyard Girl, and then now you. Like that's kind of big people in my book. I, I live for that, and they were like super real and down to earth people, and yes. I've learned so much from them. Yeah. That it it just even from a business standpoint too, because you just you see how they move, how they talk. And you're like, okay, I you see kind of rubs off. On right. You. But um, and they learn from me too. Right. So well, that's mutual. the whole thing. You rub my back, I'll rub your yeah. back. Yeah. It's a collaboration. And right. I feel like uh, I don't collaborate that much because of the fear I told you of like being used or... And it um, happens, guys. Yeah. And it just like, especially because all it takes is a meeting, like you think someone is your friend and they expose you or something. Right. Or they're like threatened to, uh, have you heard the term dox you? No. It's where they expose like your phone number, your address oh. and all that. And so it gets kind of like messy. So I'm, I live being a drama channel and talking about people it can easily come back to me. Right. And I have to, if I'm able to dish it, I got to be able to take it. See? Right. Oh, yeah. You know? And you got to so have thick skin. You got to have, you really got to have thick skin. And that's why I don't want to hit below the belt and I just kind of play nice and I try to make it funny and fun because people get on YouTube to have a good time and laugh. Right. They don't want to go and like... It's entertainment. Inter yeah. I mean, like, I don't know how many people I know, they say they don't even watch TV anymore. They just oh, watch YouTube yes. all the time. So speaking of that, yes. this is going to be forever. Oh, my God. Okay. You were casted... For Real Housewives of Houston. And that fell through. Yes. Was it like, were you upset about that? Yeah, because um, at the time, Bravo was casting for Real Housewives of Houston and Real Housewives of Dallas at the yeah. same time. And they were doing pilots for both cities. And unfortunately, they put together the wrong cast for Houston. Yeah, okay, that's understandable. And so. It's all about casting, it really it is. It is. It you is. Mesh. You know, because you've got to be able to mesh, you know, like. You've got to have some kind of a relationship or know each other somehow because there's got to be some kind of history there for yeah. you to be able to mesh well enough. Does that yeah, make sense? Yeah, because not very often do you run into people like me and you. No, where, where in, we just in Houston. Mesh, in Houston. Where we just mesh right away. I got it. Yeah. Yeah. I got like, it. Yeah. Like when he walked in my door today, I was like, oh my God. Like <laughs> I immediately felt like I knew this guy forever. That's weird. Or girl. That, or that's whatever. like weird. Like, yeah. It don't matter. Right. Yeah. But, 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 yeah. but when you're... Like I said, for Real Housewives of Houston, it was totally different because they had races trying to fight against each they other. They were trying to, like, like what, what do they call it, manufacture the drama? Yeah, and it was just horrible stuff that you would see back in the 60s. It was just horrible. Okay, like, so you're like, yeah. Yeah, I'm out. Yeah. Ew, yeah. And so then there was Dallas got picked up and we did Dallas got picked up. Yeah. Then I was cast for... Married uh, to Medicine? Married to Medicine Was in the three episodes. I was on three episodes of that one also. So you're a showgirl. I'm trying. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yes. That's what, I think that's why I like you. I love you so much because on my YouTube channel, I feel like I'm a show person. Right. Like, I'm like, you know, and then the Instagram too. Very flamboyant. Too. Yeah. yeah. But it, when the cameras are off, like, I feel like I'm very, like, just calm. Normal. And normal. I'm yeah. not like, hi, hi, hi. It's just like, I don't know, something about, I just love being on camera. I don't, you have an accent, though, when you start talking, like... Oh, yeah. When you, I when, have no idea what when, it is. When you, when you go into your... My character? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I have no idea what it is. But then there are also words I invented, like, well, this slang word. I don't feel like I invented it. They're just words, like, clock at the house. Yeah. Just means to look at something. Right. You know, not bothered, stuff like that. But what did you say, like, oh, Not honey. bothered. Oh, honey. Oh, honey. <laughs> Oh my god, I can't believe you said that. <laughs> it is crazy. Uh, but yeah. This so is so, this I is hope, so refreshing. Yes. No, because I hardly ever get to like sit and talk to people. Yes. Yeah. So this is such, usually, and then, to do it on camera. By usually filming by yourself. I'm usually by myself to yeah. do it on camera. I'm like, I get so excited to meet people. And this genuine like excitement is easy for people to like, take advantage of. Right. But I mean, I know you're a good person. Yes. 
good people know good people. Yes. And so if I ever, if you feel like I'm rude to you, it's not because I'm, I'm on purpose. It's because I'm just being guarded. Protected. And I feel like you have to be guarded. You have to. There's so many people out there trying to take advantage of you. And I've, I, I swear over the years, I've been taken advantage of so much just because, you know, I was always taught do what you do best and hire out the rest. And so I'm like, <gasps> do what you do best and hire out the rest. Right. I've never heard that. So like, I know how to clean my own house, but why do it when I've got other things to do? So I do what I do best and then I hire out the rest, right? And so when it came to PR or social media and I didn't know the, that much about it, I hired it out. Well, shame on me because people take advantage of you. They're yeah. just like, oh, she's got money. Well. I'll go take some uh, yeah. and that's what they do. And because you believe in, it's like hiring a lawyer. Yeah. You know, you don't know law. So if you need legal advice, you hire a lawyer, right? Yeah. Well, because you don't know that field of expertise, they can take advantage of you too. Or, you know, I'm like, it's just horrible. Like there's so many areas of your life that you don't know about. So you hire out yeah. and then people want to take advantage of you. It's not right, but it's the American way. It seems like it's horrible. And it's, just, it's just like you're navigating waters all the time. You know. And there's no one that's going to protect you like you yourself. You know, like we have to protect ourselves. Yeah, and that's good. Like just like years ago, I was being defamed and and harassed yeah. on the internet, and I had to take legal action, legal action yeah. to protect myself because that's my reputation. That's my that's who I am. That's who I've worked my whole life to be. Yeah, I'm not going to let someone destroy me. Wow. Mm -mm. Okay. And everyone's 10 foot tall and bulletproof on the keyboard. Oh, yeah. Oh, Lord. Well, with mm. Lex, you did this. Mm. Like, oh, God. Mm. Coming at They'll you. They'll come at you like, you said you like pizza, and now you like cheeseburgers, so you're <laughs> fake. I'm going to expose you. And I'm like, oh, my God. <laughs> you know? It's true. It's true. <laughs> it's very true. So yeah. you just have to be able to protect yourself and be thick-skinned. Remember this. If, I, if you don't remember anything I tell you, oh, yeah. remember this no. one. Go ahead. What you... Think of me will never change my world. Yeah. Ever. And there'll, there'll, there'll be people in the comments, if and they make it this far, if they that make whole crowd fake. Oh, yeah. Because oh, yeah. <laughs> I read about it. Because I read about it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> At 13 minutes and 46 seconds, yeah. Yeah. if you zoom in, <laughs> this part right here, <laughs> that's how they are online. It's so funny. Yeah. They, anyway. it just, but you know what? I call them haters, but I, they're really not. They're still fans because yeah. guess what they're they do? Watching, yeah. They're still watching you. They're still following you. They're watching these videos. They're giving you the view. You're getting paid. So I'm like, go ahead and hate me. Yeah. Thank you for watching the video. I just got paid. Yeah. Thank you for mentioning something because I just got paid, but I'm going to delete your comment now. <laughs> yes, the house. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, you know, I don't even delete them anymore. I just let them go. Well, I I do delete some on my YouTube yeah, they're because really bad, I have yeah. grandchildren yeah. that like to watch my YouTube channel <sighs> yeah. too. So I try to protect them a little bit because that stuff's out there, you know. And it's not that I want to erase it because they're hurting me. Believe yeah. me, you're not hurting me. <sighs> yeah. I mean, I had some. I had a horrible person mail something to my house that was so horrible in this letter. And mentioned my dead son and everything no. that I it didn't hurt me you know why because they don't know me they didn't know my son and what they were writing on there was just evil yeah and so I literally did a YouTube video about it set it on fire said here you go evilness go away you know but I'm mean, like there's just horrible people in this world yeah you have to be and you have that I, I keep it positive yeah because I feel like it, I want to keep positive people around me yeah and that's why, you know, maybe it is to my disadvantage that I kind of am sheltered and I don't really leave the house that much or, but I feel like it's also maybe to an advantage because I don't really deal with that much of yeah. the drama or the negative people. But the bigger you become and the more famous you become, you it's kind of got to get out there you got because to you got to do me. appearances, you've got to do stuff. So you've got to, you've got to get out there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. This has been fun. Yeah. Guys, definitely check her out on her YouTube channel. I'll link it down below. All her businesses and everything. Please let her show her some love. Go over there and show her that we're real. I love you so much. Bye.